Hello all, myself Dr. Rishmi, assistant professor from Department of Kriya Sharira, HDM Institute of Ayurveda and Hospital, Bengaluru. Today, I am going to discuss about the concept of Shukratadu as per contemporary medicine perspective. Following are the contents of my presentation, introduction, location, function and formation of Shukratadu, Shukratadu Sara Lakshana, and the possible correlations of Shukradhatu. So, Sharira is made up of Dosha, Dhadu and Mala. According to Ajare Vakbhada, Dosha, Dhadu, Mala, Moolamhi, Shariram. That is, Sharira consists of Tridosha, Sapta Dhadu and Trimala. Dhadu are the entities which can sustain the living body. Dharana Dadavaha. Along with the Dharana, Poshana is also a function of Dadu. That is, Dadu will sustain or will support the body as well as it can do the nourishment. There are seven Dadus in the body. Among the seven Dadu, Shukradadu is the last one. Shukradadu is formed from the Sara of all Dadus. Especially it is formed from the Prasadabhaga of Majja Dadu. The word Shukra is derived from the word Shucha plus Klede. It is according to Shabda Kalpatruma. The meaning of Shukra Dadu is bright, white, clearness, light, lucid, glow and pure. Shukra Dadu is considered as one among the Prana Ayadana, one among the ten Prana Ayadana. According to Saraka Samhita Sutrasthana, Desha Pranayadaniyam Adhyayam He says Desheva Ayadanani Ahuhu Prana Yeshu Pradishtidaha Shango Marmatrayam Kando Rektam Shukra Ojasi Gudam That is there are 10 Pranayadanas in the body Prana Ayadana Ayadana means it is a seat of Prana or it is the abode of Prana So there are 10 Pranayadanas in the body it includes Shanga, Trimarmas, Kanda, Rekta, Shukra, Ojas and Guda. Where Ajara Chakrapani explained that Ayadanani Iva, Ayadanani, Tat Upakade Prana Upakada, Tat Nashecha Prana Nashat Ityartaha. That is, if you are going to dis destroy the Ayadana, the Prana Nasha will happen or any damages to the Ayadana leads to disturbances of life. So, Shukradadu is one among the Pranayadana and the damage or destruction of Shukradadu will lead to death. This slide explains about the synonyms of Shukradadu. Shukradadu has synonyms like Pumstam or Paurusham means it not the masculinity, Vredas that which flows, Bijam that denote the germ element, Viryam that denote the power or potency, Teja, it shows the essence of tissue. Kitta Varjidam, it is devoid of kitta or waste products. Anna Vikara, Anna Vikara means it is originated from the Ahara Rasa. Majja Rasa, it is derived from the essence of bone marrow. These are the synonyms of Shukratadu. The Panjabhaudhika constitution of Shukratadu will be explained in the slide. So, as we all know, Sarvam Dravyam Bhanja Faudigam Asmin Narte. That is, all Dravyas in the universe is made up of Panjamaha Buddhas only. Like this, the Shukradadu also consists of Panjamaha Buddhas like Prithi, Ap, Tejo, Vayu, Agasham. But Sushruta Samhita Shari Rastana third chapter, that is Garbhavakrandiya Madhyayam, says that Saumyam Shukram Artavam Akneyam Idresham Abhyatra Bhodanam Sanityam Asti Anuna Visheshena He explains that Shukra is always Saumya. Saumya in the sense it is Soma Guna Bhuishtam or Jala Mahabodha Bhuishtam or it is consist mainly of Jaliya Amsha. And Artava is Akneyam. Agni Mahabodha predominance can be seen in the Artava. Idaresham abhi atrabhodanam sanidyam asti anuna visheshena. 
Anuna Visheshena meaning is Sukshma Pragarena Idaresham Abibhudanam Idaresham Hudanam include Prithi Vayu Agashana. So these three Mahabudas are also seen within the Sukra and Artava, but they are in minute amount, they are in less amount, Sukshma Pragarena. So Shusruta also explains, also believes that the Shukradhatu and Shonita Artava consist of Pancha Mahabodha, but you can see a predominance of Jala in Shukradhatu and Agni Mahabodha in Artava. Charaka Samhita Shari Rastana second chapter that is Adulya Gotriya Madhyayam says that Vayu Agni Bhumi Ampu Guna Padavat Tat Shadpyo Resepeha Prabhavasya Tasya that is Vayu Adishu Shukra Arambageshu Padavebadeshena Sarvesham Tulle Shukra Arambagatam Darshedi. First point we have to remember that it is formed from the Shadpyo Resepeha that it is formed from the Shadrasa Yukta Ahara. Uh, and it is made up of predominantly Vayu, Agni, Bhumi and Jala Mahabodha. And Ajare Chakrabani explains clearly that Shukra Arambageshu, the word meaning of Arambaga is from the formation of Shukra till the fertilization, till the Shukra Shonita Samyoga. So during this entire phase you can see the predominance of four Mahabudas in Shukra Dadu that is Vayu, Agni, Bhumi and Ambu. Sarvesham Tulle Shukra Arambagatam Darshedi and these four Mahabudas are seen in equal amount in Shukra Dadu. So you might have a doubt why Akasha is not included in the particular context that is explained by Ajara Chakrabani says that Akasham to Yedebe Shukre Bhanja Bhaudige Asti Tadabi Napurisha Sharira Nargatya Garbhashem Gachandi Kindu Bhuda Chadushte Meva Kriyavat Yadi Akasha is Nitya Vyabi Sarva Vyabakam and Vibhudravya and there is no need or uh, Akasha Mahabuddha is not going away from the Purusha Shariram to Garbhashayam. That is why Agasha is not included in the context but he again opines that Shukra consists of five Mahabuddhas only but the Agasha is not explained here in the shloka by because Agasha is not going away from the Purusha Sharira to Garbhashaya. So all Ajaryas explains that the Shukra Dadu consists of Panja Mahabhudas. Next is about the functions of Shukra Dadu. According to Charaka Sharira second chapter, he says that Shukram Tadasya Prabhadandi Dira Iddiyade Garbha Samudbhavaya. Shukra is an entity which is especially important for the Garbha Janagam. It is especially important for the production of a progeny or it is especially important in reproduction. And Sushruta Sutrasthana 15th chapter Dosha Dadu Mala Kshaya Vriddhi Vijnaniya Madhyayam says that Shukram Dairyam Chevanam Preedi Harsham Dehabalam Karodi Bijartam Cha. So according to Sushruta he says there are um, other functions of Shukra Dadu. The main functions of Shukra Dadu include Dairyam. Dairyam means courage or Shauryam Shuratam is the meaning of Dairyam. Chavanam means ejaculation. Shikratvena avasram, avastramsanam is Chavanam. Preedi means, Preedi is sneham pramadasu. It is love or attraction towards the opposite sex. Harsham means harsham punaha utkanda jananam pramadasu evam. And it is the acceleration or desire to the opposite sex. Deha Balam. Deha Balam include two points. It is Utsaha Ubajaya Lakshanam. Utsaha include it is the enthusiasm to do any type of activities and Ubajaya Lakshanam is the nourished state. That include Deha Balam. Karodi Bijartam Cha. Bijartam Cha means it is Garbha Janagam also. So both these Ajaryas in, include the functions like Garbha Janagam, Dairyam, Chevanam, Predi, Harsham and Dehabalam. If you are analyzing the functions of Shukra Tadu, we can see twofold function mainly. First function and the main important function is Garbha Janagam or Maiduna Gadam or 
Maiduna Gadam or Maiduna related functions. Second one is the Sarva Dehiga Karmam. Sarva Dehiga Karmam is the karma which is which can be seen throughout the body. So the Sarva Dehiga Karmam of Shukradadu includes Dairyam, Preeti, Dehabalam, etc. And this Garbha Chanaga Karmam is Bijartam, Garbha Samutpavaya, Chevanam, etc. So by this you can see, we can understand that the Shukratadu function is exhibited at the reproductive physiology level as well as it can be seen throughout the body. Next is about the location of Shukradadu. Location of Shukradadu is explained like Saptami Shukradara Ya Sarva Pranina Sarva Sharira Vyabini Ida Paisi Sarpistu Gudahacha Iksho Rasoyata Sharire Shutadam Shukram Nrinam Vidya Bhishakvaraha Sushruta Samhita Sharira Stana 4th chapter contain this shloka. The Ajarya says the 7th Kala that is Shukradara Kala is seen throughout the body in every living being and it is seen throughout the body like eda paese sarpistu like ghee is present in milk like sugar cane contains sugar like this it, it is embedded within each and every cell of a living being that is the concept of susruda sharira and susruda explains the kala as kalaha kalaha kaluobi sapta bhavandi Dadu Ashaya Andara Maryadaha. Here Kala are a Maryada, Andara Maryada. Andara Maryada in the sense it is Sima Bhutaha or it is a border, border in between Dadu and their Ashaya. A Dadu, here the word meaning of Ashaya is explained like Tesham Ashaya Avastana Pradesha. Avastana Pradesha in the sense it is restricted or it is bounded or it is a restricted space. So, a dadu and their ashaya is separated by a thin layer of structure known as kala. For example, here if you are remembering, if you are uh, understanding about rekta dadu, the blood is flowing through the blood vessel only. So, blood vessel is the avasthana pradesha or restricted or bounded space and the rekta dadu is the dadu only. Rekta is a dadu only. So, this dadu and the blood vessel get separated by an endothelial layer. This endothelium can be understood as the kala. Like this one kala which is related to the shukradadu is seen, is existing throughout the body. That is the concept of shushruta samhita sharirastana. So here we will again understand, we can again get an idea that since this kala is existing throughout the body in each and every cell, the sarva daihika karma of shukradadu gets explained. Next Ajarya is saying about the shukra vaha srodas. Shukra vaha srodas is mula sthanam is vrishanam, shebham according to charaka samhita sutra sthana. According to sushruta samhita it is vrishanam and sthanam. And according to Ashtanga Sangraha, the sthanas are sthana, mushka and majja. Here, the word meaning of mula sthana is mula midi prafava sthanam. It can be taken as a site of origin of a particular srotas or it can be a governing site of the particular srotas for the proper maintenance of the srotas soon after the formation of a particular dadu associated with that strothas or it can be a site where the dushti lakshana of that particular strothas can be seen or it can be a site where the predominance of that particular dadu which is flowing through the strothas can be seen. So here the shukravaha strothas can be narrated in four uh, places or can be seen in four places that is vrishana, shebha, stana and majja. Among this, Vrishana is Viryavahi Siradharam or it is the testis only. Shefam is penis, Tanam is breast and Majja. So, the Vrishana, Shefam and Tanam has a direct relation to reproductive system. You all know Vrishana is testis only and the testis is seen within the scrotum and the testis is 
bounded by three layers. Those three layers are tunica vasculosa, tunica albuginea and tunica vaginalis. And the posterior layer of testis is covered by only tunica albuginea. This tunica albuginea is thickened to form a reti testis and or mediastinum testis. In this mediastinum testis you can see so many channels. These channels are known as reti testis. So from this mediastinum testis some septae arises and this septae will divide the testis into so many partitions known as septular testis and each partition or each pyramidal lobule contain 900 around 900 coiled seminiferous tubule and these seminiferous tubules include spermatogenic cells or the sperm producing cells as well as it has serotonin cells too so these cells will produce sperm and this sperm will be carried through the reti testis to vasophens, to head and duct of epididymis, to vas diffen and the terminal portion of vas diffen is little bit uh, elaborated, little bit big and it is known as ambula of vas diffen which gets joined with duct of seminal vesicle and form an ejaculatory duct. This ejaculatory duct will open to the penile urethra or prostatic part of penile urethra. So this is the uh, flow or this is the flow of shukra or this is the transfer of shukra from a testis to outside to a female body and so the vrikshana shepha is well explained by this meaning by this understanding but stana has a doubt stana is always responsible for stana is always uh, associated with a sexual act that may be the reason why ajara is explaining Stana in Shukravahasrothas. Then one more point is there regarding uh, Majja. The Majja we will explain in the next slide. The probable reasons why Majja has been explained in the Shukravahasrothas will be explained in the upcoming slides. So from here we can understand that the Sarva Sharira Vyabi Shukra is explained and especially the Shukradadu which is especially related to Rishana, Shebha, like reproductive organs are also well explained. So, the understanding, the functions of Shukratadu can be really understood in Sarvadehiga Karma of Shukratadu and Maidunagata Karma of Shukratadu also. Next is about the formation of Shukratadu. Ajarya Charaka Chikilsa 15th chapter explains that Tasmat Majastu Yaha Snehaha Shukram Sanjayade Tadaha Vayu Agrasha Dibihi Bhavehi Saushiryam Jayade Astesho That is from Majja Dadu Shukra will get originated. That is from the Sneha portion of Majja Dadu Shukra will get originated. According to Dadu portion and Aya, when Majja Sadarmi Amsha acted upon by Majja Akni, a Prasad Amsha will get form and a Kittabhaga will get form. The Prasada Pamsha will converts to form a Stula Bhaga and a Sukshma Bhaga. The Stula Bhaga is the Stula Majja Dadu and the Sukshma Bhaga include the Ubadadu of Majja and the Shukra Sadarmi Amsha which gets acted upon by Shukra Dadu Akni and form Stula Shukra Dadu as well as the Sukshma Ubadadu of Shukra and Kitta formed as Yavana Pidaga or Ekin. So from this we will get, uh, get to know that the Majja is the main Dhadu which is responsible for the Shukra production. Here, um, here we have to next line of um, this shloka explains that Vayu Agasha Devihi Bhavehi Saushiram Jayade Astisho. That is Asti the Shukra Dhadu will get formed from the Snehamsha of Majja and from Snehamsha of Majja Shukra Dhadu gets formed and Shukra Dhadu oozes out through the Asti, the pores in the Asti. So we all know the location of Majja Dhadu. It is explained that Medohi Sarvabhudana Udarastam Anu Astishu Mahatsucha Majja Bhavadi. That is Medo Dadu will be seen in Udara, Udara Pradesha in the abdominal region and Anu Asti in the small bones you can see Medo Dadu whereas in big bone you can see the Majja Dadu. When the Ajari explains about the erythropoiesis, Ajarya says that uh, the 
blood cells will get formed from the majja dadu when there is something produced from the majja dadu that we can see a function of shukra dadu why because shukra dadu is the entity which is responsible for the production of some entities garbha janakam or bija artham or it is responsible for the production of something so the majja dadu in the erythropoiesis or the importance of majja or bone marrow in the erythropoiesis we can understood from the line so shukra dadu is also gets formed from the majja dadu only the majja dadu have a snehamsha from the snehamsha shukra dadu gets originated and the originated shukra dadu will come out through the pores in the asthi and the pores will be made up by the vayu and akasha mahabhuta so the majja dadu is the one which can give rise to shukra dadu current research also shows that the bone marrow will contain a mesenchymal stem cells which have the potential for differentiation and division and this mesenchymal stem cells also secrete some anti inflammatory cytokines and growth factors which make them appropriate for the cell therapy when this mesenchymal stem cells transplantation happens on the germinal cells it can successfully induce the spermatogenesis too so from this it is clearly understood that the stem cells which are present in the bone marrow can give rise to sperm or can induce spermatogenesis in the seminiferous tubules so the majja dadu contain this type of mesenchymal stem cells also it has some erythropoietic or hemopoietic stem cells also which can give rise to different type of blood cells so in the fetus in the last trimester that is during the myeloid phase the rbcs will be produced from the bone marrow and the adult also bone marrow will secrete bone marrow will produce the rbcs so next point is the majja dadu in shukrotpati can be considered it as mastaka majja why because mastulanga is a vilina kridakaro mastaka majja that is mastulanga or brain is made up of uh, majja only majja dadu only and it is kridakara only a vilina kridakara means it is a uh, soul dif, soul solid state the krida is in solid state and can be seen in the brain so do we have to consider the mastishka majja in the shukra dadu utpatti so we all know in the spermatogenesis and oogenesis there is a hypothalamo hypophyseal gonadal axis this hypothalamus will secrete gonadotropin releasing hormone this gnrh will stimulate the anterior pituitary to secrete fsh follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone this fsh and lh helps in the spermatogenesis and oogenesis so we can also consider we can also include the majja dadu as the mastishka majja too yah sneha shukram sanjayade here the word of snehamsha ajare is explaining ajare is emphasizing the snehamsha of majja dadu will regulate will give the shukra dadu so if you are um, understanding the whole functions of shukra dadu as already explained the shukra dadu uh, function can be seen in the whole body as well as it is limited to the reproductive organs so um, we have to consider the sex chromosomes sex hormones as well as sperm with a seminal fluid under the preview of shukra dadu so if you are considering the functions considering the shukra dadu as a sex hormone it is well explained that from cholesterol only the testosterone and estrogen will get produced that is from cholesterol is a sneha dravya from a cholesterol the shukra dadu element or estrogen progesterone and testosterone androstenone dion etc will get produced from the shukra dadu only that is why acharya may have implied yes sneha shukram sanjayade tadah that is a sneha part only shukra will get formed next is about the shukra dhadu abhivyakti so shukra dhadu is seen even in the childhood 
एक्सप्लेन बै आचार्य यदा हि पुष्पमुकुस्त गंध न शक्यम इह अस्ति इति वक्त नैव नास्ति इति अद च अस्ति सदा भावना अभिव्यक्तिरिति ज्ञात्वा केवल सौक्ष्म्या न अभिव्यज्यते स एव विवृत पत्र केशर पुष्प कालांतरेण अभिव्यक्ति गच्छन्ति एवं बालानाम अभी बाह्य परिणामात् शुक्र प्रादुर्भावो भवति रोमराजादेश्य विशेषेन नारीनाम दैट इज शुक्र इज सीन इवन इन द चाइल्डहुड बट लाइक एंड राजा इज एक्सप्लेन अ सिमिले दैट लाइक अ बड ऑफ फ्लावर आल्सो कंटेन द फ्रेग्रेंस विद इन इट बट इट इज नॉट एक्सप्रेस्ड बट व्हेन इट गेट्स ब्लॉसमड द fragrance will come from but from the flower like this the shukradada is also seen in the childhood but is not in expressed state when vaya parinama when the child reaches to the puberty stage adolescent stage it will start expressing and acharya says that during the vaya parinama during when the child reaches to the adult or puberty stage the roma raja deha Roma Raji etc will also be manifested here the Chakrabani here the Ajare has explained that Roma Raji Adeha include Stanya Artava Pradurbhavaha in Nari and Shmashru Pravardeyo in man so the secondary sexual characters are also get produced during the Vyaparenama during the teenage or adolescent spirit by the effect of shukra dadu the shukra abhivyakti can be seen in the adolescent period it is also here also by the word of roma rajya deha due to the development of secondary sexual characters we all we all know that the secondary sexual characters production is closely associated with the sex hormones like a testosterone estrogen etc so the shukra dadu can be easily correlated can be uh, correlated to the sex hormones too नेक्स्ट कंसेप्ट इज स्त्री शुक्र योषिदो अभी स्रवत शुक्र पुंसा सामगमे तत्न गर्भाय दट इज योषिद मीन स्त्री उल्लि स्त्री विल ऑलसो सीट शुक्र ड्यूरींग द कोपुलेशन स्टेट तत्न गर्भाय इट इज नॉट फॉर दि गर्भाय इट इज नॉट गर्भजनक सो इट कैन बी अंडर्स्टुड द सर्विकल बारतोलिन एंड एंडोमेट्रियल ग्लैंड सेक्रेशन वै बिकॉज सुश्रुद हेज क्लियरली एक्सप्लेन Uh, about artava that artavam rekta lakshanam garbha kritcha lakshana of artava is like a rekta dadu only rekta only and the pravakrita karma of artava is garbha krit or it is important for the production of offspring and uh, when ajare explains about the um, garbha he says that for a good progeny shuddhe shukra artave like that the uh, shloka commences and it ends biryavandam sudam sudhi like uh, for a good progeny uh, shuddha shukra should be there shuddha artava should be there so artava is always meant uh, to for the production of offsprings here the stri shukra may be uh, a factor which can be understood like the bartholin cervical and endometrial gland secretion which is happening during the maiduna नेक्स्ट इज अबउट शुक्र सार पुष लक्षण सार इज विशुद्ध दरो दादु दट इज द एक्सल पार्ट ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी दादु इज नोन एज सार लक् सार एंड सार कंसेप्ट इज एस्पेली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दि बल मान विशेष ज्ञानार्थम दट ईज टू अंडर्स्टा द क्वाटी एंड क्वांटिटी क्वाटेटीव एंड क्वांटिटेटीव एस्पेक्ट ऑफ ए दादु वि कैन यूज द सार सार लक्षण सो आचार्य चरग इन विमस्थान एट चाप्ट से सौम्या सौम्या सौम्य प्रेक्षिण क्षीर पूर्णलोचना इव प्रहर्ष बहु स्निग्ध वृत्त सार सम संहद शिखर दशना प्रसन्न स्निग्ध वर्ण स्वरा भ्राजिष्णु महास्पिज शुक्र सारा ते स्त्री प्रयोग भोग बलवंद सुख ऐश्वर्य आरोग्य वित्त सम्मान अपत्य भाजश भवंदी तरी सौम्या मीन्स 
they are gentle saumya prekshana good looking kshira purna lochana lochana sir eyes only the eyes fill with milk or some watery secretions iva praharsha bahula always happy snigdha vritta sar sama samhada shikara dashanaha the compact good clear dashana dashana means teeth only and prasanna snigdha varna swaraha varna or complexion and the boys are like prasanna and snigdha clear and oily prajishnu prajishnu means radiant appearance mahas pijasha big buttocks will be there shukra saraha so these are the main sara lakshana of shukra dadu many of the sara lakshana can be due to the actions of sex hormones only that we will discuss in the upcoming slides according to sushruta samhita sutra sthana he says that stikta samhada shveda asti danda nagam Bahula Kama Praja Shukrena that is uh, Asti then the bones, teeth and nails are Snikta Samhada Shveda. Snikta is oily, Samhada compact, Shveda means white color is related to Asti then the and nails and Bahula Kama Praja means Bahu Kama Bahu Praja idi Shukrena. Mm, excess desire towards the sex and Bahu Praja, more progenies will be there for a Shukra Sara Purusha. Next is about the Shuddha Shukra Lakshana. Ashtanga Hridaya Sharira Sthana says, Shukram Shuklam Guru Snigdam Maduram Bahulam Bahu Krita Makshika Tailabham Sad Garbhaya That is, Shukra is Shuklam, White Color, Madhu Gandhi, Krida Makshika Taila. Consistency is similar to Krida Makshika and Taila. And the Gunas are Guru Snikta and Madura Rasa predominant one. Sushruta Sharira says a Spadika from transparent nature to for the Shukra Dado. If you are analyzing the Shuddha Shukra Lakshana, we will understand that many of these parameters, many of this will be related to the sperm with the seminal fluid. Why? Because Ajarya explained Krida Makshika Tailavam. It is a consistency of Shukra Dadu only. So the consistency of Shukra Dadu is Krida like a Krida, like a Makshika and Taila. So the viscosity of these three fluids, these three substances is little bit different. So as you all know, immediately after the ejaculation, the semen will clot due to the action of or due to the conversion of fibrinogen to fibrin from the seminal vesicle and it is enhanced by a clotting enzymes which are produced from the prostate gland. So this will help in the clotting of semen just after ejaculation. After that it will again lysed by the fibrinolysin secreted from the prostaglandin. So this is especially important for holding of semen within the female cervix and this will explain about the Krida Makshika or this can be understood in the Krida Makshika Tailavam consistency of Shukra Dadu and it is Madura Rasa predominant. So the seminal vesicle fluid will contain a fructose. The fructose is a Madura Dravya only and fructose is especially important for the nourishment of um, sperms and this Madura Rasa will also get substantiated. And Bahulam, Bahu etc. will may understand as the number of sperms uh, more than 40 million per millimeter. Um, so all those things may interpret as the Bahulam or Bahu nature of Shukra. So these are the classical references of Shukra Dadu from different different Samhidas. So let us discuss about the modern perspective of Shukra Dadu. The Shukra Dadu uh, we can correlate under the heading of sex hormone, sex chromosome and sperm with the seminal fluid. So in the first section we will discuss the possible correlations of Shukra Dadu with the sex hormone. So the main point is the Shukra location. It is explained that Shukra is Sarva Sharira Vyabi and the action also can be seen in a Sarva Deha, Sarva Deha or throughout the body. Both the testosterone and estrogen action also can be seen throughout the entire body. The strodo mula of Shukradadu is mainly Vrishana, Stana, Shebha etc. 
and here also the sex hormones will be mainly manifested in the or action can be mainly seen in the pubertal enlargement of ten testis penis and scrotum descent of testis and growth of accessory sex organs like a seminal vesicle and prostate by the testosterone as well as a stromal tissue development by estrogen and growth of extensive ductile system in breast all these are the functions of estrogen only so this is a first point regarding the sex hormone correlation to shukradadu first one is its action can be seen throughout the body and the action can be seen associated with the sex organs mainly and with respect to formation it is said that the snehamsha of majja will give rise to shukradadu so if shukra is considered as a sex hormone the snehamsha is maybe the cholesterol only that is from the cholesterol only under the action of different enzymes the cholesterol will convert to form testosterone from the testosterone again under the action of aromatase enzyme will convert to form estrogen so this may be the snehamsha may imply the cholesterol in sex hormone formation and as well as the majja if you are considering the majja as the mastishka majja we can easily understand the hypothalamo hypophysal gonadal axis in the formation of fsh and lh which are necessary for the hormone production the time of manifestation of action it is clear explained that even though shukradadu is seen throughout the childhood but it will be expressed at the by a parinama or during the adolescent period teenage years like that even you can see the special actions of sex hormones in the adolescent period at puberty the hypothalamic cells become more mature and the sensitivity for circulating sex hormone decreases so much that is why there is a pulsatile release of gonadotropin releasing hormone from the hypothalamus which favors fsh lh release and this can be result in this spermatogenesis and the testosterone amount start rising during the adolescent period and even in case of uh, stree sharira the primary oocyte will further develop to secondary oocyte during the puberty only the influence of hormone on morphology effect of bone and teeth so ajare has explained that uh, due to the shukra sara purusha will have samhada asti and teeth also will be fine samsu samhada asti snikta vritta sara sas sama samhada shikara dashana all are the characteristic features of a shukra sara purusha like shukra sara purusha even the sex hormones also have a role in the bone mineralization in the formation of bone matrix it is also helpful for the calcium deposition in the bone and it is also responsible for the early fusion of epiphyses of long bones with shaft even the estrogen also responsible for the osteoblastic activities effect on muscular system deha balam and deha ubajayam deha bala is explained like utsaha ubajaya lakshanam so even the sex hormones are, are anabolic in nature like anabolic hormone increases the muscle bulk also cause nitrogen retention in the body and the muscle mass increases by about 50 percentage after puberty influence of hormone on psyche it is said that shukra sara purusha have a saumyatvam and dhairyam also so even the sex hormones will have a role on psyche that empathy etc emotions will be produced in the by the estrogen only influence of hormone on physiology the voice the prasanna swara and snikta swara so the bass masculine voice and hypertrophy of laryngeal muscles enlargement lengthening of larynx thickening of vocal cord etc will be produced by the testosterone even the estrogen also helps in the high pitched voice generation in female changes in pelvic bone it is said that mahaspik is seen in the shukra sara purusha so even the testosterone will helps in the lengthening of pelvis as well as in the funnel shape of pelvis estrogen is responsible for the subcutaneous fat deposition in hip breast and buttock broadening of pelvis with increased transverse diameter the bmr basal metabolic rate also can be increased by the sex hormones that is 
basal metabolic rate increases about 5 to 10 percentage by sex hormones and anabolic effect can be seen on the protein metabolism too. This can be understood as the Deha Balam and Deha Ubajaya Lakshanam. In skin, the Prasanna Varna, Snikta Varna can be seen. So the thickness and ruggedness of subcutaneous tissue is produced by the sex hormone especially testosterone deposition of proteins in skin increases the quantity of melanin pigment and enhances the secretory activity of sebaceous gland are the functions of testosterone over the skin like this this estrogen also helps in the skin and it makes the skin soft and smooth and it increases the vascularity of skin also Influence on sexual drive, it is said that Shukrasara Purusha will have Stri Priyoba Bhoga, Pridi Pramadasu, Harsha Bahulam, Abhatya Bahulam and Chavanam. Ejaculation Chavanam. Abhatya Bahulam means more progeny will be there. Harsha Bahulam, opposite sex attraction. And Pridi Pramadasu. Pridi Pramadasu means love towards the opposite sex. Stri Priyoba Bhoga or all the characteristic features of a Shukrasara Purusha. And the testosterone and estrogen also can increase the sexual drive in male and female and can cause the libido, acceleration and erection and ejaculation. In hemopoietic system, it is said that the Shukrakshaya will result in the Panduttvam. It is explained in Sushruta Samhita Sutrasthana. Prajushnuda can be seen in the Shukrasara. Prajushnuda means what? Radiant appearance. Panduttam means pale. So if you have a Shukra more quantity, good quantity, you will have a radiant appearance. And if you lack Shukra Dadu, you will have a paleness. Even the testosterone can also enhance the erythropoiesis, increases the blood volume by increasing the water retention and ECF volume. So whenever erythropoiesis is more means Panduttam will be decreased. Even the estrogen has a role in hemopoietic system. Estrogen can cause the vasodilation. Secondary sexual characters like hair growth generation. It is said that the Shukra will be manifested in the Balanam Abhibhaiha Parinamath. So during the adolescent period only it will be manifested. Here the sex hormone function also can be increased at the onset of puberty. And Roma Raja Deha Narenam, Roma, secondary sexual characters like hair development, male type and female type of hair development can be seen during the puberty state. So some of the researchers says about the Saumya Lakshana which is explained the Shukrasara Purusha. Some hypothesis says that the post-pubertal effect of gonadal hormones on limbic system hyperactivity which predisposes women to potentially higher rates of anxiety and depressive disorders. So we can understand from this sentence that gonadal hormones have a definitely influence on limbic system hyperactivity which can ultimately result in the anxiety depressive disorders in case of women. And it is also one more point is there the exogenous testosterone can attenuate the integrated central stress response in a healthy young woman through the actions upon central neuropeptidogenic pathways that control corticotropin releasing hormone and arginine vasopressin expression. So it is said that the exogenous testosterone can decrease the stress response in female. So this will be understood that if you have a testosterone you will get the courage to fight uh, diarrhea will be there to fight each and every uh, situation and the stress response will be very less and the gentle behavior of a person will definitely by the influence of gonadal hormone this gonadal hormones will have a, an influence on the limbic system hyperactivity especially at the puberty state Kshira Purna Lojana, it is said that the Lojana or the eyes are full of Kshira. Kshira means milk only. So some meaning of Kshira is like its water also can be considered as uh, Kshira Purna Lojana, water filled within the Lojana or eyes. So some of the research studies says that the androgen deficiency can cause the meibomin gland dysfunction and dry eye. The sex steroid hormonal status plays a role in homeostasis and function of ocular surface accomplished by estrogenic and androgenic receptors located on corneal conjunctival epithelia and in meibomian gland. 
the ocular surface dysfunction leads to unstable preocular tear film which produce dry eye so if you have a increased testosterone the dry eye will be prevented the it will result in the functioning of meibomin gland and it will avoid the dry eye formation so if you have a shukrasara definitely you will have a kshira purna lochana when we analyze the functions of shukradhadu and the location of shukradhadu we'll come to the point that the shukradhadu can be considered as sex hormone sex chromosome as well as sperm in the seminal fluid till last slide we have discussed about the possible correlations of shukradhadu with the sex hormone and it can also be considered as a sperm in the seminal fluid by because the majority or the major function of shukradhadu is garbha utpadaka or it is bijartha it is helpful for the production of progeny so that shukra can be viewed as the semen containing sperm and one more point is that the shukra sravana happens at the time of sri purusha samyoga that can also be viewed as the semen ejaculation time and it is said that the consistency of shukradhadu is krida makshika tailabham or taila kshaudra nibham tadaha that is the consistency of krida makshika and taila so immediately after ejaculation the semen will be clotted due to the conversion of fibrinogen to fibrin and also by the clotting enzymes which are produced from the prostate gland so this is immediate clotting of semen after ejaculation and after 30 minutes of this uh, clotting again it will be lysed by the fibrinolysin from the prostate gland so again the consistency of semen is changing this is this may be the reason why ajare has implied or ajare has said about the krutamakshika tailabham to the shukra and it can also be viewed as a sex chromosome by because it is said that artava bahulya stri shukra bahulya puman so whenever there is a predominance of artava in garbha it will result in female and if there is a predominance of shukra in a gen in a fetus there will be male progeny will be developed so you all know the sex chromosome that is x and y chromosome can determine the gender so since ajare is explaining the artava and shukra in gender determination we can also correlate the sex chromosomes to the shukra and it is said that shukra is sarva sharira vyapi like the sex chromosome which are seen in each and every cells so this is the possible points by which you can correlate shukra to sex chromosomes too so on conclusion on broad basis every cell has an amsha of shukradhadu why because in every cell the mitosis meiosis etc is happening or the reduction division or a duplication division etc is happening in each and every cell that is why every cell has a amsha of shukradhadu or shukra is a sarva sharira vyapi and if you are focusing on the reproductive system it can be correlated to sex hormone sex chromosome as well as seminal secretions which contain sperm these are the text type i have followed like charaka samhita sushrupa samhita ashtanga hridaya simbulingam male reproductive physiology chapter indu kurana also thank you